Hi, Gary from Mr. G Shave here, here for his Christmas Eve shave. <laughs> I think I'll turn this racket off. <laughs> so I've got my Christmas t-shirt, my Christmas lights on, there's some at the back, red, green, white, orange or whatever. So yeah, I think this is shave number 133. Um, and I'm going to show you the hardware. It's going to be very Christmas themed. Uh, before I start off though, I wanted to, I've received something in the post that was really very generous. Um, I recently joined the Hong Kong Wet Shaving Society um, Facebook group. And uh, yesterday, I don't even know whether I'm going to get my glasses on over this hat. Let's try this. I got a, a, a letter and when I opened it there was a note inside saying hey Mr G I wish you and your family Merry Christmas and all the best in 2022 Martin and in there was a red envelope and it's got HSBC on the bottom so I was thinking oh it's a check <laughs> but actually if I show you should open It is a razor blade with the uh, Hong Kong skyline on it. Absolutely stunning. And it's got uh, you, hashtag HKWSS Hong Kong Wet Shaving Society on the, on the blade there. I don't know whether you can see that, whether you can make that out. But there it is there. So thank you very much, Martin. That's really appreciated. I'll probably feature it in some other videos as well, but there you are. Right, so what am I using hardware-wise? I've already got my brush in soaking in my Sig Solo mug. And just squeeze that out. And it's going, I'm going to use a badger uh, because it's got a red and green handle. So it's my um, super badger. So beautiful badger made by uh, Mervyn Cadman, I believe. It's a Cadman brush. And it's my Welsh brush, so there you go. And I think it's got a 28 mil knot on it. So that's the brush today. The bowl, not very Christmas themed. It's my favorite bowl though. It's my Giles Shaving Co. Pedestal Shave Bowl. Love this bowl, absolutely my favorite shave bowl of all the, well, I haven't got a lot, but. And then I've been waiting for this to come in. I bought this in the Black Friday sales and I finally relented to pressure from other uh, stainless steel users. I've got myself a Rockwell 6X, 6S in red. So there you are. And in there is a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade on its first use and it is on setting five. So hopefully you can see that. Move that out of the way. There you go, it's setting five. So that's what I'm using for the whole shave. So that's the hardware. I will talk through the uh, software as I go along. I'm probably gonna have to take these off to continue with the shave though, because this is gonna drive me mad. But I'll keep the hat on. <laughs> right, I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, ready for the uh, the shave I've lathered up in the bowl. So the pre-shave today, as you might expect, the Christmas, most Christmassy colours I could find was my Prorazzo Red Sandalwood. Not sure whether it's going to go with the scent today, but it was the most Christmassy thing that I that I had. So let's just put this on. And that's a beautiful scent. Don't mind using this at all. <laughs> Fantastic scent. It may not be the best pre-shave out there, but it's the best one in my den. And uh, I really like the Peraza pre-shave. If, if I didn't have a channel and I was just shaving for myself, I'd probably just use Peraza if I'm honest. Right, here we go. So, oh, I've got to show you the soap first. 
the soap, some of you may well, well you'll have seen the thumbnail anyway, is Sterling Christmas Eve. There you go. Sterling Christmas Eve. And the scent on this. Cranberries, pine needles, everything Christmas. I get cranberry first, then I get the pine. Really, really nice. Um, I'll put the scent notes up here somewhere. That's if the uh, red and green lights at the back don't interfere with it. Uh, but yeah, so it's all lathered up, ready to go. Nice sheen on it. You can't go wrong with sterling soaps. You really can't. Um, fantastic. Easy to lather. It took 12 sprays, but this is great. And this brush feels so soft. Well, oh, I'm losing it. This is actually the um, consistency that I like for a straight shave. So I've over put too much hydration in it, I, I think, for a, a wet shave. But it'll be fine. It'll be nice and slick. Um, just plaster it on. I can tell it's slick because the brush keeps, want to, keeps wanting to slide out of my hand. Oh, this is great. Just work up a bit. Oh, God, blimey, I'm losing it. I'm losing it all. I've got snow landing on my tree. <laughs> so, I hope everybody is now ready for Christmas, because if you aren't, it's Christmas Eve. What the hell have you been doing? <laughs> for those of you that celebrate Christmas. For those of you that don't, happy holidays. You, you're all getting a holiday if you were, uh, you know, in most countries there are holidays at this time of year. So, even my brother who lives in Hong Kong, he, he gets a holiday, so. So it's quite interesting getting that razor blade from Hong Kong Obviously, it's not a razor blade you can use in a, in a razor. Uh, it's way too big. I'd like to see a razor, though, that that would fit in. But it came in a HSBC envelope, and my brother used to work for HSBC in Hong Kong. He now works for another company altogether. But <clears throat> Yeah, right, here we go. This first time I've used this razor, comparing it weight-wise with... The 6C, this is quite a bit heavier, I think. Just feeling it, this has got a lot more weight to it. It's a, a real heavy weight, this razor. So let's see how it performs. It's on plate five and a Gillette Wilkinson sword on plate, uh, sorry, on plate five on his first use. Wow, that's smooth. Really smooth. So when I do the Battle of the Blades, I always have my Rockwells on plate three. So it's a medium, it's the medium right in the middle. So you can all judge from my shaves, you know, where you would be at with your razor. I just felt, felt it was the best way, just straight down the middle. But when I'm using a Rockwell, Myself, I'm either on plate four or plate five, depending on how many days growth I've got. And the last show I did was Monday. Today is actually Thursday, so it's not really Christmas Eve. This is being pre-recorded for Christmas Eve because I'm going to be busy tomorrow. But yeah. Not buying Christmas presents. Picking up turkey and all that kind of stuff. Just general bits and pieces and people coming to see us. And I mean, we don't celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. I think they do in Germany. I think they do in some of the Nordic countries. They, they actually celebrate and give their presents on Christmas Eve. Here in the UK and I think in the US, um, we celebrate on Christmas Day. So we get up in the morning, unwrap the presents, put the turkey in the oven, um, which is good fun. This scent is beautiful. It, it is Christmas. It's, I have to say, the Wickham soap is very Christmassy and very slick. 
this equals it. it it's a different set of scents but wow I would say it's scent strength about six and now I've lathered it up I'm getting far more pine than I'm getting cranberry but wow this this is just so Christmassy I love it I think this is uh, a bit thin I may have to go to the puck I don't know it's it's the badger brush holding all the lather in it <laughs> that's what it is this is a monster it just eats the lather and just holds it in there there's loads of lather in here but it's just it's picking up as much as it's laying down so I've probably over I've over hydrated this I have I know I have but there we are right across the grain on this side is straight up this is super smooth now I'm not going to do the head shave today I'll probably do that off camera tomorrow my son's almost beating on the bathroom door because he's going out with his work colleagues tonight so kind of under pressure to get this shave done I think that I mean they've already had their Christmas party um, but it's just a few of them going out tonight I think so right I'm not going to add any more water to this because there's plenty in here as it is I'm just going to give it a See, there's loads of lather, it's just going on really thin. Actually, that's better. Losing it into the bowl. This is beautiful. It's funny, out of the, in the bowl, I'm getting pine. As I'm putting it on my face, I'm getting cranberry really weird cranberry and pine but wow this is great fantastic Christmas scent here so the same as the Wickham they're both equally as good as one another I would say I've, I've definitely over hydrated this so this is super slick but I would I would still say the Wickham's is probably slicker than Sterling but not by much it, it literally had a, a, a hair's whisker so here we go, against the grain, plate five still. I, I'm gobsmacked at how super smooth this is. I'm just gonna check something. You'll know if, if I've made an error. No, it's plate five. I'm just, I, th I think the Rockwell 6C feels more aggressive on plate five than the 6S. That's fantastic. This is a great razor. This uh, it, it feels. It does feel different to the six C. I think it's probably because of the weight. I don't think there'll be any difference in blade gap or anything like that. It's slightly more grippy because of the coating on the head. I've heard that the that it, and was expecting the head not to glide so easily because it's a rougher texture. Um, but 
but I can't get over how smooth this feels. Oh, I meant to put my hat back on. Let's put my hat back on. There you go. Sorry about that, I forgot. <laughs> This is going to smell a leather now. Christmas, it's going to smell of Christmas. That's what it's going to do. Right, let's have a feel around. Yeah, usual spots. Yeah. So a bit more leather, not much. Try not to get it all over the Santa hat. Oh, this is great. I'm really enjoying this. <clears throat> Fantastic Christmas themed soap. Really love it. It's, it's a shame that it probably won't get used again now until next Christmas. But wow. I can't make my mind up whether I prefer the scent off this or the Wickham scent. Both are really good scents, fantastic. And I've got another Christmas scent that uh, is Barristan Man's Vespers. I think I'll be using that probably, if I do another um, shave between now and New Year's Day on, on camera, then I'll probably use the Vespers when I next come on. It's, it's a pretty good chance that I, that I will do another video. So this probably won't be the last video of 2021, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. Right, so here we go. Pick up pass. So yeah, I hope that you all have a far better Christmas than we had last year. Last year was a bit of a nightmare. Um, this year is still a bit of a nightmare. Oh, that's BBS. I'm happy with that, with a little bit there. I'm not gonna even bother putting the brush to the face. That's great. Perfect. So, I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, back for the post shave. Time for a cold rinse. Oh, here we go. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this and dreading it at the same time. really cold so let's see how that's done with the alum a little bit of burn one or two out of ten so far I would say it's actually a one out of ten that's a really good shave really happy with that fantastic it is warming up a little bit, but it's it's between a one and a two. One and a half out of ten is what I would say. Just a nice background hint of warmth. <clears throat> so that's the alum done. I'm going to take that off now. Let's just get some more on the cloth. So yeah, I hope you like my Christmas Eve uh, shave with all the various lights and... So good, so good. Yeah, I hope you uh, 
Hope you like it. Let's go on with the boots. My usual boots, witch hazel or tea tree and witch hazel, sort of tonic, face tonic. Oh, that feels great. Can't get any on my dome because Santa's hat is in the way. I'll have to give it him back later. So, yeah. And I didn't prepare, so I haven't taken the seal. I have the Christmas Eve, I'm trying to get that so it doesn't overexpose. The Christmas Eve splash. Let's see if I can get this off. I think I might have it, don't know. Here we go. I can hardly see a thing. So yeah, Christmas Eve splash. Got a nice restrictor in the end of it. Let's see my hands. Oh wow, yeah. You can... Pine needles and cranberries again, perfectly matching splash. In fact, I'm going to take this off and put some on my head. Oh, that is fantastic. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. And I also have the matching balm. So there you go. Christmas Eve. And when this video goes up, it will be Christmas Eve. So I hope uh, Santa's received your Christmas wish list and you've got everything on your list. Um, and I just hope you all have a great day, whether you're celebrating today on Christmas Eve or whether you celebrate on Christmas Day. Either way, I hope you have a great day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of my Christmas Eve shave. Uh, I, I hope to do another video probably in the week between Christmas, e Christmas and New Year. Um, probably not as fancy as this and just be a normal shave. But, um, yeah, look forward to seeing you then. Um, and if I don't see you before New Year, Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a better one than the last couple of years. Right, bye now.